For the next two weeks, they worked on a model, and on November 28, 1951, Watson and Crick announced that they had found the structure of DNA. Francis rang me up and said, we made a model, come have a look. So I went to the others and collected them, and we all went up. It was a pretty ugly structure. Francis liked it, I don't know. You know, he called up the people at King's and said we'd done something clever, and uh, I was a bit worried. Feeling apprehensive, the King's team left for Cambridge. Rosalind Franklin took one look at the model, and... She laughed at them. Uh, much to their discomfiture, I think, had uh, said, oh, look, you've got it inside out. Watson's memory had let him down over how much water was absorbed in the DNA crystals. The water content is vital to the structure, so their model was a complete disaster. Rosalind was tickled pink. She was right. The building of a model of a crystal structure was a waste of time until you'd let diffraction speak for itself. And that was hard work. I don't know, I mean, um, one might say, well, why not? I mean, it's an exploration to make a model. I mean, make a model, and if you make a bit of a fool of yourself in the process, why worry? You might be, be lucky. The real strange thing about science is how stupid people can be so much of the time. And uh, so Francis and I were really stupid. Yeah.